They can't go outside the fence, can they? Yeah, they can. This, this All side, they can. Well, then. You see that opening right there? Eric. Yeah. Hey. Hey, let's go. We're going to go in the woods. Come on. All right. Greetings, Airsofters. This is Callsign Chibi Potatoes, and welcome to part two of my series on American Milsim's Operation Faded Giant 5. Building 2 has been successfully secured, but scouts have confirmed that federal elements are moving through the forest on our western flank. Big Swole, Grail, Doc, Rabbit, and I move to the west and carefully make our way through the trees in an attempt to stymie the federal advance. At this point, I've turned off my radio to keep as quiet as possible. Being only a small five-man team, it was important to maintain the element of surprise. Using hand signals as our primary means of communication, we managed to hear voices up ahead. Knowing from our last radio communique that we were the only coalition elements this far forward, there is no doubt that UFS was in front of us. Short knees and legs.
pothole, careful. Right about right here. This is the right open one. Yeah. Is that tan? That's, that's not our guys right here. They're all in our path right now. Guys, this guy's coming right at me. I'm going to shoot him and we're going to move, alright? You know, only three of them? Only saw three there. I'm moving up. I get taken out here in an attempt to move up and search the three Federals we knocked out. And while Doc gets me back up on my feet, we decide to return to the main elements of X-ray platoon near the berm by Building 2 to report our findings. It turned out that our five-man team ended up getting far closer to the enemy fob than we had originally thought. The field intel we brought back allowed other X-ray elements to stage further ambushes on the western flank. This effectively stalled most UFS attempts to move through the trees. And that's going to wrap it up for part two. Please stay tuned for part three, in which cost elements make an assault on the facility control room.